In the heart of Ireland, nestled amidst rolling hills, stood an old mansion cloaked in mist and mystery. This vast edifice, a relic of times past, beckoned to the curious and the brave. One such soul was Claire, an adventurer with an insatiable thirst for the unknown. She was drawn to the mansion, captivated by the whispers of its faded grandeur. As she crossed the threshold, the air around her seemed to thicken, heavy with the tales of bygone eras. Walking on creaking floorboards that echoed under her footsteps, Claire found herself immersed in a world suspended in time. The mansion exuded an old world charm, the flickering candlelight casting dancing shadows on the walls, painting a portrait of nostalgia. Each corner held its own secret, its own story, waiting to be discovered. As she ventured deeper, she began to feel a silent presence. Claire wandered through the echoing halls, where portraits of stoic figures watched over her like silent sentinels. As she reached the upper floor, the air took on a palpable weight. The mansion seemed to sigh, a sigh that was more than just a creaking of old timber. It was as if the building itself was exhaling, releasing a century's worth of stories, memories, and secrets. Claire found herself drawn to a slightly ajar door. Behind it lay a room, frozen in time. Furniture, draped in layers of dust, stood as silent witnesses to the room's bygone era. Moth-eaten curtains hung heavily against the windows, their faded fabric hinting at a time when they might have danced in the sunlight. The room held a melancholic ambiance, a testament to the transient nature of time and the enduring footprint of the past. Suddenly, a soft sob broke the silence. Claire's heart skipped a beat as she turned toward the sound. A woman, spectral and weary, sat before her. Her tear-streaked eyes held an ocean of stories, and in a whisper as delicate as a lullaby, she asked, Do you hear them too? The voices that whisper from the walls at night? This was no ordinary mansion, no ordinary woman. The walls around them pulsed with an energy that was almost sentient, echoing with whispers of the past. The ghostly woman was a daughter of the mansion, her fate entwined with its very fabric. Through her, the mansion voiced its forgotten tales, its lingering sorrows. Together, they embarked on a journey through the annals of time. The mansion began to reveal its secrets, its history unfolding like an ancient tapestry. A family had once laughed, cried, and loved within these walls. Their joys and heartbreaks, their triumphs and betrayals, had seeped into the walls, creating an echo that resonated through the ages. The ghostly woman, she was a part of this echo. Bound by chains of the past, she was a prisoner to the whispers that reverberated through her soul. Her voice was the mansion's voice. Her sorrow was its sorrow. The mansion wasn't just a building, it was a living, breathing entity, its walls whispering tales of those who had once called it home. The mansion, bathed in moonlight, held within its walls a symphony of echoes. Claire and the ghostly woman, bound together by the threads of empathy, embarked on a quest. Their mission wasn't just to explore, but to delve into the heart of the echoes, to uncover narratives left untold, to bring to light the stories cloaked in the shadowy corners of this grand mansion. As they ventured deeper, they began to uncover stories etched into the fabric of the mansion. Stories of joy, of love, of heartbreak, and betrayal. Each tale was a piece of the puzzle, a fragment of the mansion's soul, a whisper from its past.